What's up everyone, you're here with Gora from Pick Dogs and you're here for your free picks for Monday, April 29th. Well guys, we are coming to an end of the month uh, and uh, we don't have many games this week, but have in mind that it is a Champions League week, which means we are getting two games of the semifinals. We are, we are getting two games of the semifinals in the Europa League and the Conference League as well. And uh, there are some league games such as e EPL and stuff like that. So uh, we will have a decent amount of games to bet on and uh, to give you guys some free picks for it. Sunday, it wasn't particularly well. Um, I was a bit disappointed in some results for sure. Saturday was very, very solid. Uh, with some nice winners all over Europe and MLS did really really well. Unfortunately, we lost the parlays on pretty much one game each day, including that uh, MLS parlay that I posted in the comments. But uh, we have to move on and we have to keep grinding, guys. We have to keep winning that money, and uh, hopefully these two picks that I have for you for Monday will do exactly that. Uh, for my best bets, as usual, you can click the link in the description. That will get you up to my page where you can sign up, get a daily pass, three day pass, seven day pass, or even a month long pass if that's something you want to do. Uh, and of course, for more free for more free picks, go up to the Pink Dogs YouTube channel and check it out. Let's get the show on the road, guys. A couple of games to talk about. Like I said, the first one is in La Liga between Barcelona and Valencia. Uh, two teams that uh, are coming off of a loss. As a matter of fact, Barcelona has lost their last two games in a row. Uh, one against PSG in the Champions League, they lost 4-1. And one against Real Madrid in an El Clasico last week, 3-2. Uh, there was some controversy about that game, whether Barcelona should have had a goal and whether or not that was a penalty and stuff like that. But in the end, uh, nothing will change after the fact. So uh, they ended up losing that game 3-2. And in the moment, they are in third place in La Liga. Uh, Valencia is coming off of a loss against Betis at home 2-1. But when playing on the road, they have won their last two games in a row. And before that loss, they were actually playing quite well. Uh, they had some decent results. Uh, they kept a few clean sheets. So they're definitely a solid team that is still fighting for Europe. Uh, Barcelona will qualify for the Champions League. There's no doubt about it. Now, the only question is whether, whether uh, for which spot they do it. Whether it's going to be second, third or fourth place. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. But uh, I guess it could be important to them ending the season as high as possible and uh, we know that uh, there has been news about Xavi remaining the head coach for the next season as well uh, he will remain the head coach I think that's good news because he did some solid things but uh, at the moment they're missing a few players because of the injuries uh, Gavi is out Balde, De Jong and Pedri is listed as questionable the top three are probably out for the season while Pedri uh, should play a few games until the end uh, Valencia is also missing a few players because of the injuries as well. Uh, but uh, with the status of Barcelona's defense right now, seeing how they conceded seven goals in their last two games, I just can't see them keeping a clean sheet here. It's it's a very hard thing to accomplish for them, uh, especially when they are on, a, on, on such a bad streak. So uh, I'm taking both teams to score at minus 110. For our second game, guys, we are going to Italia Serie A, where you have Genoa hosting Cagliari. In what I think it's going to be a fairly even matchup between these two teams. Uh, Genoa is a bit of a favorite at plus 130 at home to Cagliari's plus 250 on the road. And uh, both teams are pretty far away from the relegation zone. Genoa theoretically could still get to the top 10. Uh, they are pretty far away from Europe. And uh, their home record so far this season hasn't been that great. Five wins, six draws and five losses. While uh, Cagliari on the road has won, has won only one game so far this season, they have five draws and ten losses. So uh, Cagliari on the road is much worse than Genoa is at home. But like I said, I think it's going to be a fairly even matchup. On top of that, Genoa hasn't lost to Cagliari in any of their last eight home games overall. Uh, injury lists are, I would say, fairly short for both teams. Uh, three or four players on it. Uh, Cagliari also has a suspended player because of the yellow cards. But uh, ultimately, it won't matter. There's not much these two teams have left to play for, uh, except for some prestige, I guess, and for their fans. So I do understand why Genoa is the the the, the favorite at home. But like I said, I think it's going to be a tight matchup. I honestly am not sure we should expect goals in this one. Could be a nil-nil or even a 1-1 game. And uh, because of that, I decided to go with the draw at plus 205. 
That's it, everyone. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, these were free picks for Monday. Stay tuned for those Champions League free picks for Tuesday and Wednesday, of course. Uh, Europa League and the Conference League on Thursday. Uh, good luck with all of your bets. And, of course, uh, stay tuned for those free picks. And uh, I'll see you soon.